Oh, the doll's my name. Elwood P. Does Elwood see anybody these days? Oh, yes, Aunt Ethel. Elwood sees somebody. Yes, Aunt Ethel, he does. And now, Aunt Ethel, I'd like you to meet Harvey. Harvey, you've heard me speak of Aunt Ethel Chauvinet. She's one of my oldest and dearest friends. Who's Harvey? A white rabbit, six feet tall. Six feet? Six feet, three and a half inches. Now, let's stick to the facts. Harvey lives at our house. Elwood buys theater tickets and railroad tickets for both of them. Well, I'll be swizzled. Well, anyway, I was walking down along the street, and I, I heard this voice saying, Good evening, Mr. Dowd. Well, I, I turned around, and here was this big six-foot rabbit leaning up against a lamppost. I, I thought nothing of that, because when you've lived in a town as long as I've lived in this one, you get used to the fact that everybody knows your name. Perhaps they neglected to tell you at medical school that a rabbit has large pointed ears. Do you know what you've done? You've allowed a psychopathic case to walk out of here and roam around with an overgrown white rabbit. This sister of yours is at the bottom of a conspiracy against you. She's trying to persuade me to lock you up. Today she had commitment papers drawn up. She has your power of attorney and the key to your safety box. And she brought you here. My sister did all that in one afternoon. That Vita certainly is a whirlwind, isn't she? It's a warm-hearted tale that proves there's no power like the power of the imagination. I'll never be happy, Mr. Dowd. I know it. Hey, this rabbit gag must be a good one. Stock up now on this Oscar-winning classic the whole family will enjoy. Harvey.